<clears throat> okay, so that's uh, you know not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Uh, the other thing I just want to touch on is, and it says here in verse 24, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works. So what are different ways we can provoke each other unto love and good works? We already touched on it a bit already, but I just wanted to uh, talk about a couple of verses. Uh, but one way we can provoke unto love and good works, we, we provoke unto love, is you know we follow the commandment that Jesus gave us to love one another. Uh, John 13, verse 34, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you. How did Jesus Christ love us? With an unconditional, sacrificial love. He, you know, Greater love hath no man than this, that a, that a man lay down his life for his uh, friend. He says, as I, as I have loved you. So this is the sort of love we should have one for another, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one for another. So it's interesting there that, you know, often it's our, we think it's our doctrinal positions that make people think, make people know that we're disciples of Jesus Christ. But Jesus says, how will other people know that you're my disciples? He said, if you have love one for another, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you have love one for another. So it's how we treat our church. It's how we treat one another. This is how the world is going to know that we are disciples of Jesus Christ. And, you know, we ought to love one another. You know, and, and I just want to say this on this point. You know, I have time for you guys. You know, like I want to love you guys. I want to give you my time and give you my attention and things like that. So don't ever feel that you are uh, taking up my time. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, when they come to me, they might ask me a question or they want to catch up and they'll think, you know, they might have the frame of mind, oh, you know, Victor's so busy and things like that. And, you know, I am busy. We're all busy, right? Everyone's busy. But, um, you know, don't have the frame of mind that you're worried about taking up my time. Like, if you want to ask me a question, you know, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, taking up too much of my time. I, I, I'm here to, to give you my time. And that's, this is why, you know, uh, on Friday nights, you know, I, in, my, in my calendar, you can't see this, but I actually try and schedule to, like, have people over. I'm hoping to have you over on Saturday, this coming Saturday, actually, Juan, so remind me later. But to have you guys over uh, and to make time with, with you and, and have you over and, and talk with you and get to know you. And I want you guys to do the same with each other. You know, hey, have each other over and get to know one another. And don't feel that you're taking up my time or, you know, that, that you're inconveniencing me because this is part of who we are, right? We want to give time for it. I want to help you. If you want to get together with me and talk to me about something, then let me know and, and I'll book it in my calendar and we'll, you know, we'll, ha we'll, you, we'll have you over for dinner or you can have us over for dinner or whatever. So don't have that feeling. And in fact, if somebody wants to, to spend time with me and my family or with me talking about certain things, that's the person I want to spend time with because I know that person's going to appreciate my time that, you know, if somebody wants to meet with me, I mean, they're the person I want to meet with. You know, oftentimes in churches, the, 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 the bishop is so busy meeting with people that don't even want to be met with. They're not even in church, you know, they're out and, you know, you have to sort of, you know, bug them to meet up with them. I mean, if I have people that want to meet up with me, that, that, that they're in church and want to meet with me, I mean, those are the people I'm going to focus on first before I go and spend time with others because I should love, you know, the Bible says do good to all men, especially of those of the household of faith. So you first and foremost are the people I want to spend my time with and to help if you want my help. Um, so that's why I do things the way I do and I have the Fridays to have you guys over for dinner. Um, if it doesn't work for you, we can work out another day. But don't ever feel like you're, in, you're an inconvenience to me or, you know, I don't have time for you. I have time for you guys. You know, I have time. Um, and if not, I'll make time. 